How awesome is it? Action! What's going on, Animal City Movie Talk fans? My name is Ryan D. You can only Ryan 680. Amanda, that Kelly Ange. And this is Animal City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Star Wars, Star Wars, D23. We got so much stuff happening. Everything Disney. How awesome is this? I'm pretty excited. I love all the announcements yeah. that have been coming out so far this weekend. Uh, so uh, I think one of the big things... Disney. We're real excited about all the Star Wars content. All the fans. Star Wars, all the Disney stuff. They released their Disney slate, which we will talk about on the podcast. Be on the lookout for that as well, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get right to it. This, this is the Mandalorian official trailer that we assume that it's the same trailer that came out in Comic Con. Uh, um, I want to say a month ago. Yeah, like a month ago. And so we can only assume that. But let's get right to it, guys. Let's let's see how great this trailer is. If it is even great, let's find out. <laughs> Like it already is great. Already, there's already sand. Uh, there's already stormtrooper helmets in the sand. Already great. <laughs> So November 12th, Disney Plus, of course. And, you know, this is pretty cool. I mean, they launched all their Disney Plus stuff. We're getting um, we're getting Lizzie McGuire back. We're getting a lot of stuff from Disney right now that's so crazy. Um, you know, this is an original, um, I guess you could say an original piece of original Star Wars content that we haven't seen. Because right, right now they're, you know, they're f finishing off the franchise and everything. And, you know, just to see how bad of a taste Last Jedi, I mean, uh, you can put it on the comments down below. I mean, we're on the fence. <laughs> I've Just a bad taste Last Jedi left in my mouth. I'm just like, ugh. And then when they finished, Rebels was great. That was another animation they had. Hopefully it goes on Disney Plus as well. We can only assume now Clone Wars is starting up again in February that we got announced as well. So with that being said and everything, with all this is all Star Wars related, of course, I am so excited to see a live action original series. Original, like it's hard for Disney, I guess, in a sense, to make something original because they keep going back to their live action. Not to say it's a wrong move per se. It's just they keep. I understand they want to do a live action. They want to do a different take on their live action on their animation series, movies, and such. But now to see an actual original Star Wars, like because we never we never really had an original. There's always been Skywalker's, you know, even. I mean, Rebels had Skywalkers, but like only one or two episodes of Secrets, uh, Secrets of Apprentice. So you're saying you appreciate that it's not focused on the Jedi. It's focused it's, on... No, I'm happy that it's not focused on the Skywalkers. That actually tells an original story of different characters that we've never heard of before. Well, I mean, you could argue that Rebels was kind of like that. Although they were mentioned a little bit, it yeah. really was more about... We did get Obi-Wan in there. Ezra. I mean, we did get Obi-Wan in there. But uh, I'm happy to say that, you know, to see this, I don't mind... Okay, if they did the exact same thing what they did with Rebels... I'm on board. Like, Rebels was original. Like, it was different characters. But you still mentioned Obi-Wan. They still mentioned uh, the Jedi. They still mentioned Darth Vader. They still mentioned Dark City. They still mentioned those characteristics because they have to exist in that world. Because that world was between Rogue One, 
it was it was between you know episode three and then rogue one right no i understand that you I mean you can't just yeah. completely not mention them in the storyline especially because the yeah. series lasted what four four seasons yeah i want to say like four so, seasons yeah. i mean going into this do you think that it would be less of that mentioning less mentioning of star skywalker and no that- see and, and see i'm excited for this because we're actually getting a mandalorian series which is funny because we've never seen mandalorian live action we've always seen animation mm-hmm. i mean this is of course this is after the stories of Django and bubba fett because you gotta remember though technically Bubba Fett is not a Mandalorian. He wasn't. He was right. a clone. Right. The real Mandalorian is Jango. I mean, let's be right. honest here. But right. and the clones, they okay. If if you were to argue that Bubba Fett is a Mandalorian, and then that's then all the clones are Mandalorians, and technically, in Attack of the Clone, I mean, technically because he took a son in, which was a clone of for himself, but not an altered clone. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I can see that. Okay. So, but my question is, who go, is, who is this person? That's my next question. I guess you could say. Well, in this my sense. question is like, where does this fall in the timeline? So this is this is right after um, uh, Return of the Jedi. I would say this is between Re- Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. So that opens up a whole plethora because, like, you know, when they first announced that they were going to do this kind of series. Yeah. Like, my question is, like, where does this... What what kind of story could you tell? Like, what kind of story mm-hmm. do they want to tell with, like, dealing with the Mandalorian? But... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so now that I see the trailer and now that I can see, you know, the, kind of the gist of what's going on, I want to know more about... Exactly. It looks like a war is going on. I want to yeah, know. Yeah, so, so another <laughs> warrior emerges from the Star Wars universe and the Mandalorian is set after the fall of the Empire before the uh, uh, before the emerge of the First Order. So this is, bet- this is between that gap... And I like it though because it actually shows us after the you know stormtroopers obviously there's stormtroopers in this and the death troopers are in here which is freaking amazing awesome. because we never <laughs> seen them since Rogue One. I'm just like oh my god, it's like this is but pretty good, freaking amazing. They um, as much as they were pretty awesome in Rogue One, yeah. there were still some moments. And see, like, if you mm-hmm. read, if anyone read, ladies and gentlemen, if anyone read, which I I read, um, uh, what was that book that I read? The Dark. Uh, I didn't even read it. I audio booked it. Um, Oh my Are gosh. Are you talking about the Sith book? No, not the Sith book. The other one. Uh, the Dark... Uh, oh my gosh. I can't... I lost it. I lost the train of thought. It's the book that we... That audio book that I was reading. Anyways, it's, it shows <laughs> behind the scenes of the Empire. And it me. shows us who the Death Troopers are. Like, they're pretty much just upgraded stormtroopers and all they are they're just smarter they're more but hopefully they aim better right i mean it's just <laughs> well we did see them in action in rogue one and to see them in action again in the in you know in the mandalorian and how, like, I'm and down. how they fit into this how they how they're still around like how they fit into the story yeah. plot and see because you gotta remember though we did see books after and at the time um thrawn survived he survived yeah. return of the jedi so we could i mean they could go they could make a risk and be like let's put in thrawn in there so you're, but when he's so you're, older, you're theorizing, you're hype, your hypothesis, very high, hi- very, very, yeah. very out there, far reaching hypothesis is Thrawn. Now that's like very in the distance. I don't even know at this. I, I really doubt it at this moment because this is a trailer that we're getting out, mm-hmm. taking the context, taking this footage into context. I'm just like, that's just out there. Just it, out there. It, it, that's yeah, what you want. Out there. That's what you would that's like. That's what I see. want. Now I'm like, go, does this hit at it? No. Does not hit at it whatsoever. But I love it because we're actually getting, hopefully, an original character in here. And then we could hint. You could hint. Oh, Luke is doing this. Oh, the Skywalker, or Luke Skywalker did this. You know, like, because that's what we're going to hear about. We're going to hear this. Well, obviously, yeah. like I said, you can't. Or, completely or, remove yeah. the Skywalker and you, and you, legacy and you gotta, from any of these universes. And you gotta remember too, like, in, in Last Jedi, even Luke said, like, I went to go start a school. So, like, I mean, to start a Jedi temple, I mean, people are gonna talk about it, you know? They're gonna talk right. about his adventures, they're gonna talk about, you're the great Luke Skywalker, or you even... <laughs> Um, well, even even Ray was just like in, in well because the Skywalker yeah. name is so prominent in this universe like you can't yeah, not is. know who a Skywalker is or anything about that. Now in this, you know, we actually see the outer reaches of the galaxy, in which John Favio he did help write this, uh, which I am so uh, Favro, which I'm so excited for, and the and just to see a new Republic in a sense to see where the Republic's at. Maybe we see a government side of this as well because we didn't get that whatsoever, besides the prequels um in in last jedi or in the new uh the new trilogy and yeah maybe we'll, we'll check it out guys um i can't wait to see what's in store for disney plus we cannot wait we're gonna officially get it we're of course i think course. everyone is gonna get it i mean let's be honest i mean i think the like hook line and sinker for that is the price yeah i mean to make such a big package but it, it offers mm-hmm. 
the A, B, and C, D, whatever, yeah. at such an affordable price. That's yeah. competitive with like Hulu, Netflix, yeah, even exactly. HBO now. Yep. I mean, it. Of course, a lot of people are going to be definitely interested yeah. in, in switching and getting Disney Plus. Yep, D- uh, start streaming on November twelfth, and we'll be sure to get it. And I cannot wait to see this. We're reviewing it. Action. Yeah, we will, <laughs> we will be reviewing it and seeing exactly, you know, what this means for the Star Wars. Uh, you know the Star Wars saga. What it what it ties into the saga. What it ties into a live action. And also, we did get a Kenobi series, which we we'll talk about in our podcast. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Find us on iTunes, Google Play, everywhere a podcast can be found. Which we'll talk about that on the on the next video. But all right, guys. As always, I'm your host Ryan D. Aiken, Ryan Six Eighty. I'm Angela That Cat Lady Ange. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And give us thumbs up if you like our trailer reaction. Have a wonderful day. Ah!